a warship that serves as a seagoing airbase equipped with a full-length flight deck and facilities for carrying, arming, deploying and recovering aircraft. Yes, we're talking about aircraft carriers, which is a symbol of prestige and power for navies across the world, as this capital ship of a fleet allows a naval force to project air power worldwide without depending on local bases for staging aircraft operations. They've made a huge difference for the defense systems of several countries, and today we present the top 10 aircraft carriers in the world, and our list is based on a combined score of displacement, aircraft capacity, defense weapons, and some other factors. So without further delay, let's just jump right into it. Number 10 on the list for the top 10 aircraft carriers in the world today is the HTMS Chakri Narubet light aircraft carrier, which is Thailand's first and only aircraft carrier. Also, it is the first aircraft carrier to be operated by a Southeast Asian nation. The crew capacity of this carrier is 455 and has an air wing capacity of about 30 fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters. These include AV-8S Matador, S-70 Seahawk, Sea King or CH-47 Chinook. The length of Chakri Narubet is 182.6 meter long and has a full load displacement of 11,485 tons. The Chakri Narubet is fitted with two 0.5-inch machine guns and three Madras Sadral sextuple surface-to-air missile launchers firing Mistral missiles. At number 9, we have the Juan Carlos I, which is a multi-purpose amphibious assault ship aircraft carrier. This 232-meter-long ship has a displacement of 27,000 tons, which provides accommodation for 900 Marines and can carry up to 46 Leopard II or similar main battle tanks. Vessels can carry up to 30 aircraft when used in the aircraft carrier mode. The ship has a range of 9,000 nautical miles and a maximum speed of 24 knots. The Juan Carlos ship is fitted with a single vertical launch system for EWSM or RAM missiles and other weapons include 420mm Orlikon close-in weapon system. This assault ship uses new propulsion system. It has two gas turbines and requires no shafts. At number 8 is the Cavour light aircraft carrier, which is designed to combine fixed-wing vertical or short takeoff and landing aircraft air operations, command and control operations and the transport of military or civil personnel and heavy vehicles. The crew capacity is maintained at 451. The vessels can carry only 30 aircraft, which is mainly the Boeing AV-8B Harrier. The total aircraft of Cavour is 244 meter with standard and full load displacement of 26,700 tons. This ship has a range of 7,000 nautical miles at 16 knots. The Cavour aircraft carrier is armed with two 8-cell vertical launch systems for 32 Aster-15 surface-to-air missiles. Other weapons include two Automalara 76mm super rapid guns and three KBA 25mm anti-aircraft guns. The seventh most powerful aircraft carrier in the world today is the INS Vikramaditya light aircraft carrier, which is a modified and refitted former Kiev-class aviation cruiser. The length of this aircraft carrier is about 284 meter, with the full load displacement of up to 45,400 tons and has a crew capacity of 1,600 men. This vessel can normally carry 12 to 16 Mikoyan 29 or Sea Harrier and 4 to 16 HL Truth helicopters. Maximum capacities is 30 aircraft and 6 helicopters. The INS Vigramaditya is armed only with short range air defense weapons. It carries Russian AK-630 30mm close-in weapon systems and Barak-8 air defense missiles. It is typical for Indian forces to use a mix of Western, Russian and indigenous weapon systems. At number 6 is the Charles de Gaulle. This aircraft carrier is a relatively modern nuclear-powered warship that was commissioned with the French Navy in 2001. Crew carrying capacity of this carrier is 1,150 and she can carry over 40 fixed wing aircraft and helicopters, which include Rafale fighters, E 2C Hawkeye airborne early warning aircraft, as well as SA 365F Dolphin or AS 332 Cougar helicopters. 
the carrier is equipped with a series of short, medium range defense systems, four or more 12.7 mm machine guns, eight 20 mm F2 cannons, three narwhal remote controlled automatic turrets, four missile systems with eight cells, each which connect the surface to air Esther 15 missile launch systems or two for launching Mistral self defense missiles. At number 5 is the Shandong Aircraft Carrier, which is a first-generation Chinese aircraft carrier that was launched on 26 April 2017 for the People's Liberation Army Navy. It can carry 2,000 crew members with up to 44 fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters. They are Chinese J-15 air superiority fighters, Z-8 naval helicopters and Russian Ka-31 airborne early warning helicopters. The length of this carrier is about 315 meters with a full load displacement of 70,000 tons. The primary weapon system on board is the double HQ-10 surface-to-air missile system, which is similar in design to the US-made RIM-116 RAM system. The launcher is also similar to that of the RAM with a rectangular launcher sporting 24 sealed launch tubes. Up next at number 4 is the Queen Elizabeth class, which is a class of two aircraft carriers of the United Kingdom's Royal Navy. They are the central components of the carrier strike group and the warship can carry up to 1,600 men and over 40 aircraft and helicopters. It stretches up to 280 meters with a full load displacement of 72,000 tons. The cruising range of Queen Elizabeth is 10,000 nautical miles. Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers are armed with phalanx closing weapon systems to counter airborne threats and 30mm naval guns to counter seaborne threats. These new aircraft carriers have integrated full electric propulsion, and the vessels are powered by a Rolls-Royce Marine Trent MT-30 gas turbine developing 48,000 horsepower. Up next, at number 3, we have the Kuznetsov-class aircraft carrier or the Project 11435, which is a class of fixed-wing aircraft carrier operated by the Russian and Chinese navies. The crew capacity of Kuznetsov is about 1,960 and this warship carries 50 aircraft including Su-33 carrier-based air superiority fighters and Ka-27 helicopters. There is also a twin-seat Su-25 UTG aircraft used for pilot training. She is 304.5 meter long with a full load displacement of 57,700 tons. The Admiral Kuznetsov is a heavy aviation cruiser rather than just an aircraft carrier and it carries a number of offensive weapons typically associated with guided missile cruisers. The carrier itself is capable of engaging surface, subsurface and airborne targets. This ship is conventionally propelled with oil-fired boilers rather than nuclear reactors. And now for the second most powerful aircraft carrier in the world today is the improved Nimitz class which is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier in service with the United States Navy. With a length of 317 meter and a full load displacement of 106,300 tons, this carrier is one of the largest warships ever built. This nuclear-powered nuclear -powered vessel has a crew capacity of 3,184 and can carry about 90 fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters such as FA-18A, FA-18C Hornet, EA-6B Prowler's electronic warfare aircraft, E-2C Hawkeye, C-2 Greyhound transport and various helicopters for utility, transport and anti-submarine warfare operations. The Nimitz class travels at a speed of more than 30 knots and can travel at an unlimited distance up to 20 20 to 25 years. Weapons control is managed by three MK-91 and Mod-1 MFCS directors for the Sea Sparrow missile and is fitted with the SDS Mark II Mod-0 ship self-defense systems developed by Raytheon. The SDS provides automated self-defense against anti-ship cruise missiles by integrating and coordinating the ship's weapon and electronic warfare systems. At number one spot is the Gerald R. Ford class, which is a class of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers that is built for the United States Navy. With a planned total of 10 ships, will replace the Navy's current carriers on a one-for-one -one basis, starting with the lead ship, Gerald R. Ford, replacing Enterprise CVN-65 and then eventually taking the place of the existing Nimitz-class carriers. The crew capacity is between 2,500 to 2,700 men and each of the four class aircraft carriers will carry an air wing consisting of more than 75 fixed-wing aircraft. 
The length of the Ford class carrier is 337 meter and a displacement of 100,000 tons when fully loaded. The vessel range is unlimited while its speed is in excess of 30 knots. Weapons of the Ford class include two launchers with 16 volt Sea Sparrow missiles each and four 20mm phalanx closing weapon system. The missiles are used to defend against incoming high-speed maneuverable anti-ship missiles. The ships also have two launchers with 21 rolling airframe missiles. And with that, we're winding up the video for today. Thank you for viewing.